So good morning. Uh, we're going to discuss the how to create a title for your research paper. So this is lesson two on your uh, practical research, writing a research title. Okay. So good morning, and let's start. Our objective for today, or for this lesson, is identify the characteristics of a well-written research title. Number two, construct a research title. And number three, techniques in designing a research title. Writing your research title. A research title is the first thing you see when reading a research paper. It summarizes the content of the study in a concise manner. It is important to ensure that the research title reflects the contents of the study as it also helps in differentiating the study from others. Characteristics of a well-structured research title. Knowing the characteristics of a well-structured research title can be a big impact on one's writing. So there are the following characteristics of a well-structured research title. Okay. Focus and direct, which you have formal, brief, but substantial, clear, uh, proper grammar and capitalization, and for and nor but or yet so. Okay, this is the preposition. Okay, focus and direct. Will structured research title includes the variables and the field of inquiry of the study. Placing these elements in the research, this gives focus and direction and provides an initial idea of the content of the study. So in creating a research, a will to research, a will research uh, title, this is uh, includes the variables you are uh, going to have, the field of inquiry, the field of expertise you have, or at the field of, uh say, ganahan nimo, no? Ato ano yun? Kung say, ganahan yun nimo na study, kung say, ganahan yun nimo na gusto yun nimo in, in Bisaya, pa gusto yun nimo ituki, no? So, study. So, next is formal. Research title must be written in a formal tone and must not contain abbreviations. Uh, harden, harden or colloquial terms kani mga uh, buwak buwak pa ha simple it's kung simple gani mas better no unless there these terms are the main focus of the study for example a research study on colloquial terms within a particular group in the society would require a research title that include this term however in general the research title should be understood even by readers who are not expert in the field. The use of highly specific terms can deter readers from being interested in the study. So, formal research title, ang ibuhat ko ni Mwits, ayun lang ka na mabuhok-buhok, mga Miriam Santiago, mga nagagig nga colloquial nga mga terms gamitin, no? Colloquial, colloquial, nga mga terms. So, simple na ni, what is better? Kung simple lang, the research title. A uh, brief but substantial research titles must be kept short. Ayaw tag-as kayo by sentence, no? Tag-as kayong sentence or by paragraph na. Tag-as kayo, no? An acceptable research title is composed of 16 words or fewer. To keep the title brief but substantial, make sure to include only the most essential information. Include only the most essential information. So later on, Tagaan na mo step-by-step -step process on how to create a title. Nganaan na siya included sa atong topic. Clear research title should be unambiguous and clear. Clear research title benefit those who are new to the field or inquiry. It also helps readers who are looking for studies that can supplement the existing reference. Para Kung nindot mo ang study, nindot mo ang research, mo nang ipost sa internet, so mapart ka sa iyang study. Like for example, iyang research gi-awardan, no? Gi-awardan na siya dito sa international research institution. Yeah, gi-decide ka na kining study, this study is 
in coordination or it's in uh, let's say uh, correlation with this study of Juan de la Cruz isaid ka dito maapil ka no? okay and then proper grammar and capitalization of course so the first letter every word of the research title is capitalized except for the articles so, article nga nika dili siya capital for and nor but or yet so or uh, prepositions articles such as a and the are only capitalized, capitalized if they are the first word of the sentence so article ganing na a and nya na da ikapital na siya pero dili gani small letter na siya like example base this statement is based from the article a and uh, an antelope is better than so also a dako yun na siya a guidelines in writing research title writing a research title entails the following certain guidelines for more coherent and organized outcomes here are some general guidelines remember in writing a research title have initial list of source na akap kita ka og mga sources okay kung less gani ay mga sources patay ka okay gamay ra ka og references so having plenty of uh, available resources or sources for the study can help in finalizing the research topic and formulating the research title. Okay? Take that. Available sources for the study can help in finalizing the research topic and formulating the research title. So, kung ka o sources, maka formulate ka dali sa mong title. Listen, this initial list of sources can help strengthen the basis of the research paper. Moreover, this process of acquiring an initial list of sources enables the researchers to keep track for helpful references that may be used in the process of completing the research paper. One guideline. List of sources. Second, finalize the topic of choice. So remember that the research title reflects the, stud, the subject of the study in the fewest possible words. The research title holds the study together and it improves the first impression of the research study. In formulating a research title, the final topic and variables of the study must have already been clearly identified. The finalization of the topic can be supported by gathering related references of the topic. So, kunanakay topic ngay mo ang nakita, no? Nagather na ni mo, kuhaan ni mo, isa na yung mga variables, no? Kinsay, kinsay mo interact ba? No? Kinsay mo interact, like, mga tao na mo interact ana yung muhang research, and then you, you can finalize right away your research topic. So, write an outline. An outline can help in organization of ideas and flow of discussion. Writing a research title and an initial outline can help or highlight important variables that need to be visible in life or sorry visible in title writing an outline can also be supported by related references of the topic so outline na ka na ka outline so mag clear ni na to karon ha after this discussion kaya namo ko step by step draft the research title a working research title is ready once the researcher has a final topic clear variables and initial outline of discussions it is important to remember that researcher must be flexible in formulating research title as time research title because it is normal for a research title to undergo revisions as the study progresses okay question clarification chat on the box so here steps in creating a research paper title so this is step one huh? okay step one ask yourself this question what is the paper all about? What techniques design I use? Who, what did I study? And what were the results? Okay. Step one. These are questions. What is my paper all about? So maybe my paper studies whether a drug A improves. Okay. 
the motor function of a patient suffering from Alzheimer's. Take note, the most important part of the study is your paper title or paper or research paper title. Mara na pinaka-importante ha. Okay, based from that, pwede na ka makakuha o oh, mga other resources. Kaya na naman kayo mga keywords. Okay? So, step one, what is my paper all about? So, I ask the question, ako ni Tubag, my paper studies whether drug A improves the motor function of patients suffering from Alzheimer's. Kung may answer na po. Okay? So, the next question, what techniques I use? So, take note, you already have a, a subject uh, statistics. Okay? So, what techniques design I use? So, I use randomized trial. Okay? So, muna akong gigamit randomized trial. Ngayon ko uh, survey questions. I use survey questionnaire as my techniques for gathering of data. So, who, what did I study? My answer is, I studied 400 cases from six provinces in Cebu City. What is the paper all about? Paper is all about is drug A improves the motor function of patients suffering from Alzheimer's. What is my technique? I use a randomized trial. What, who, kinsa, who, who, what did I study? Okay, who, what did I study? I studied 400 cases from six provinces in Cebu. City. Last is what were the result? There are an improvement in the motor function of the patient. Okay? So, step two. So, you're going to list keywords from your answer. So, we have a keyword listed from step one. Nananaja, based from your question. So, based from my question one, nakai keyword. Uh, uh, drug A and Alzheimer's. Based from question two, you have a keyword randomized trial. Based from question number three, you have 400 cases and six provinces in Spoo City. And lastly, on the last question, you have improvement in the motor function of the patient. That is step number two. Step number one, ask question, answer the question. Step number two, it's provide a keyword based from your answered uh, questions, okay, based on the answered questions. Step number three, use the keywords to create a sentence. So we already have a keyword listed from step number two, right? So drug A, Alzheimer's, randomized trial, 400 cases, sick provinces in Zibu City, improvement in the motor function of patients. So create a sentence. So once I create the sentence, based on my keyword, this study is randomized trial that investigates what whether a drug A, drug A, like a drug A, improve the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patient, like Alzheimer's, like 400 patients from six provinces in Cebu City. It reports an improvement in the motor function. Okay, so we already have. The sentence. That is step number three. Proceed. Step number four. Create a working title. Polish the sentence by deleting unnecessary words from the sentence. So because a sentence is too long for a title. So Manashai step number four. Okay. So we already have a sentence from previous discussion or from previous example we have from step number three. Then a sentence. So based on the sentence, create a title. Okay? So this study is a randomized trial that investigates whether drug A improves the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patients from six provinces in Cebu. It reports an improvement in the motor function. So I, uh, I remove this study is. I remove that investigates whether and I remove it reports improvements. So when you already have the the complete sentence, no, you polish it, and then you can have now the polish or construct or constructed a polished sentence from the ex example above. So you have randomized trial of drug A improve the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patients, okay, from six provinces 
in Cebu City. Improvement in the motor function. So, word count is 23. So, ang word na to, 23 lang, no? So, okay na na siya. Bubo na na siya from that sentence, no? Okay, so you've noticed ang title na, ang, 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 we have a sentence, this study. But the, the, the title will not start on this study, no? It will create a sentence without this study ang, ang starting, okay? Okay, step number five, create a final title from the college title by deleting information that is not that is not essential. Okay? Sentence. Polish it. Reconstruct. Okay? So from the sentence, unnecessary words, construct. After construct, constructing, deleting non-essential words. So based from our title, sentence, randomized viral drug improvement, uh, drug A improves the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patients from A, uh, from six provinces in Cebu City. Improvement in the motor function. The final title is Randomized Trial of Drug A Improve the Motor Function in 400 Alzheimer's Patients. That is now the title. Okay? So, step one. We have that. Step two. Step three, step four, and step five, which is the final. And you can add also version with subtitle. So how we do this? We already have a title, right? Randomized trial of a drug A improves the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patients. How to include a subtitle? So reconstruct. Drug A improves the motor function in 400 Alzheimer's patients. Randomized trial. That is now the subtitle. You can choose it's either the first title or the second title. Which do you prefer? Kanang para ninyo ba mura kachi? Para ninyo ba mura nindot paminaon? So you can go to the subtitle as your title. You can go to your main title as your title of your research paper. Okay? Question? Clarification? Chat box? Is open. Okay, here's a quick recap of the steps to follow. One, ask yourself basic questions about your research. Second, please keywords based on your question in step number one. Three, use these keywords to create a sentence. Four, create a working title. And five, delete all unnecessary information to create a final title. Add a subtitle if a possible. Okay, remember? Always write a title after you have finished writing your research paper topics. So, tanawa ang topic. Topic is very important. Okay? What is your topic all about? Okay, dili ka kakuha ang title. Kung dili ka kakuha sa inyong research topics. Okay? Keep it short and simple. Include, include all essential information about your paper. Avoid using abbreviations or too many technique terms. Use keywords that highlight what your paper is. Never insert a period at the end of the title. Question, clarification, relevant reaction. None? Okay. So, this is Glenn, your teacher in practical research. Uh, thank you and have a nice day. So, keep it safe, everybody. So, before I leave, I'm going to show you... Uh, an information which I'm going to post it a while. Okay? So, I'm going to post it later, maybe 10 or 12. Okay? So, in this assignment, you have uh, developing a research problem, lesson one, identifying quantitative research problem. So, this is the topic here. Second, uh, developing a research problem. Writing a research title. So, this is now also the objective. So, as a group, look for a problem based on useful, uh, based on useful in daily life before. 
during or after the pandemic. Okay? Find now a research topic based on useful in daily life before, during, or after the pandemic. Third, write a title including the subtitle. And fourth, the topic, problem, and the title is your, your, sorry, your final thesis title. Okay? Title. Oh, sorry. Research title. Okay? No, ta no. Final groupings will be on Friday, which is October 2. Okay? From each group, will pass a list. Sumupas mo of list. I-PM ko. Okay? I-PM ko. Pass mo ko sa talis na group. O sa number ninyo. Okay? And mga members ninyo, ah. Mga members. That is now the final. So, communicate with your group members. Okay? Communicate with your group members. The group posted on Teams and FD group page is final unless some of your member is not communicating with you. Like a group who has a member of five but only two members is active, same as the other group of six member or members. Okay? Only three are active. So you may PM me that you will transfer to other group because of some reasons. So explain your reason because so be sure it is a valid reason. Okay? Anin siya ha? Nakoy group 1. Nakoy group 2. Ang group 1 na ay 5 ka member. Pero doon ka active. Ang uban wala. So kung saan pag-communicate nila, okay? So kung saan pag-communicate nila, di sila ka-communicate. So duhan na lang ang naghimo sa activity. Na apoy group, other group, bunong sila ka buk. Tulo ra po'y active. Ang tulo wala. So kung saan communicate nila, wala. So niingon sila na ang tulo, merge lang doha, pananghid lang muna po. Okay? So this is by section ha. This is by section. Dili ni siya. Usa ka section, tabok sa usa ka section. No. Dili. Okay? Kung unsa yung module learning mo, kung, kung uh, ang imuhang kuhan type of learning module, at ito rapos modular, dili ka patabok sa other member. Unless necessary, ha? Mananghit mo, na po. No? Or okay ra ba nga ang modular, maka, maka, at to type na ka ng online. Sugot ba ba ang online, ha? Okay? So, just give me the list. Okay? Why it happens? Because some group is complaining that their members or member is not helping. And the worst part is they ignore the communication through FB or any other communication so that they will finish the activity. So that is why they want to transfer to other group. So take note, ha? Can I ugbang group po ni PM na po na ilahang member dilip mahagilap Dili accept sa Facebook, dili sa Texan o sa dili makikommunicate. Okay? So, kamo na lang communicate, kinsay, kinsay, kinsay active, and give me a list. So, kanang last, ipm na na po ha, kay bawa na siya last na po na ma, mga, mga groupings. Okay? Five. So, minimum of four, maximum of six. Okay? Okay, kung nanayin ka na, kung katong groups, group na, na, na na group, niya, okay sila, intact sila. So, ipas ninyo nga, intact mo. Okay? Ipas ninyo, intact. Katurang upan. Okay? So, kung ang inyong group online, intact. So, mabasa ang gepon mo. Nako. So, intact. Butangin niyo comment, intact, sir. Butangin niyo kung group mo, nga modular, Hindi, muha na mong tulura mo, sir. It's not intact, not communicated. It's a tone, wala mong communicate, king na po. Okay? So, ipass na ni mo. Leaders, ha? Leaders will only pass that uh, list. Okay? Kung ang leader, wala mong communicate, kinsa mong tayo, muha ka sa leader. Okay? Wala mong problema na. Okay? So, take note, no group means individual thesis. No thesis, no grade. No grade means fail. Buha. Okay? 
So, based from the pet, ang inyong output is a T6. Okay? Wala giingon sa DepEd. Wala giingon sa eskulahan na ang output na po activity lang. No. Practical research is a group research. Okay? Para mag-close na niya, practical research is a group is a group activity. Dili pwede usa unless it is necessary yun. Okay? Muna, kung ganahan mo ikaw rang usa, wa koy problema. Okay? So, bahala ka diha, maunsa ka, magbuak na inyo ang ulo, diha, sige, muna-una, sa on of research, kayo, why, mutabang ninyo, imuha nga na, kayo nag-individual mo ka. Pero, I will accept it. Okay? Tagaan na mo option. Kaya na may uban, dili, ganahan. Pero, take note ha, kung unsa ito'y nasa group, mo na ginto, unless it is necessary. Okay? So, Money, that is why I give you an option. Kuha. So, I will post this one so you follow. Okay? So, this topic is week 1, uh, week 3, and week 4. Ako siyang iduha. Ha? Para makakibok mo sa inyong ha. Inyong ha. Title problem and research title. Okay? So, after na naman mo topic, Yeah, gihatagan ko yung activity Kuha So, katunga activity Points to ninyo Okay But this one, this is per group points Okay, ang, ang Grading ani, it's individual And group Kung fail mo sa group, ah, of course Ga mayroon mo grado Kung fail mo sa individual, ga mayroon mo grado Kaya pass mo sa group Okay So Duha ni ka, activity ha. So, ako lang ibutang din eh. Unsay, so, take note, pag-ibong mo title or topic, and then pag-create mo title, i-pass na po ang title ninyo. Together with your group members. Okay? So, questions, color repetition. So, I hope you don't have any violent reaction. Ang gawa sa ninyo violent reaction, there is a screen. So, chat me lang sa message. Okay? Okay. Online man ko perme, di ba? Ngayon ba ninyo? Gabi na kayo. Okay, online, sir. Sa question. Okay? So, kung matulog na ko rin ko kan, sir. Pero kung nagmata pa ko, I will answer that one. Okay? Question? Clarification? So, good luck for your group member. Take note ha. Topic? What is your topic? Group na ginia. Hold this topic. Kay mao na ni inyo ang title. So, kung hold na mo sa topic, mao na na inyo ang title, gipas na ko. And then let's proceed the problem and so on and so forth. The next chapters. Okay? So, I have uh, lessons. Uh, let's say recorded lessons, which I'm going to have a link for you. And then you can view that one. Okay? Please don't hesitate to ask question. And turn or click turn in every time you have an activity. Okay? So, good luck and keep safe.